Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, today I wanted to show you some more solar ignition. I wish that I could get you more interested in it. I can tell by the views on my solar videos that y'all can't really relate to it. But it's a, it's a great technique. Um, let me show you a couple more <clears throat> examples of it. Now I won't make you sit through like the other videos that didn't get a lot of views. I won't make you sit through me using my wallet Fresnel lens and taking two minutes to build up a big enough ember to go ahead and blow my uh, tinder bundle into flames. I'll show you some fast things, which I've shown you before, but once again, I love this technique and I wish I could convince more of you to go ahead and try it out. So, what we have here is a standard makeup mirror. It's eight power on this side and just regular magnification on that side. It's concave, so it's going to be collecting all of the photons to a point and then it's going to project it out to a concentrated point. Very, very intense. It, uh, it will ignite tinder very quickly. Let me show you. Just regular old pine needles. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? So, of course, now your wallet for now lens isn't going to be that quick. Like I said, you'll have to take two minutes to even build up enough amber before you can attempt to blow something like pine needles into flames. But uh, let's go ahead and try the page magnifier. Now this is a page magnifier that I bought at Staples now. It has been a few years now. Bought at Staples for about, can you see me? That I bought at Staples about four or five years ago. Eight dollars. And it's just a great big old Fresnel lens. And this is quick also very quick usually much quicker than this. I must not have my angles just right. And the sun is more over this way. Let's try that. There we go. So, go back, go back through my playlists and look for my solar ignitions playlist and you can see all the different things that you can do with solar. Do though, wear your shades when doing solar experiments. If you you can, um, like if you're igniting char cloth, you can go ahead and not wear your shades because that's going to ignite easily within 30 seconds. But if you're going to stare at a focal point for more than 30 seconds, have you a good pair of shades on because the longer that you stare at that focal point, after you look away, you'll still have persistence. You'll still have a dark. You'll have a dark spot in your vision from where you were staring at that focal point, and just like snow blindness, it'll eventually go away, but it can't be good for your eyes. I'm wondering if maybe 
I've scared you all so much with my talk about sunglasses that that might be why you don't want to try solar but uh, it's a great technique it's an easy technique so let me close this video by showing you a friend that is into solar so I appreciate y'all joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one you think this lizard is cold 40 degrees up